hi guys how are you doing i hope you're all okay thank you for the support and the love and the encouragement and thank you for subscribing to my youtube channel i appreciate your love so much so today we are going on with my story i told you it is a 27 year journey it has the good the bad and the ugly so yeah we are getting to the ugly <laughs> When I finished Form 4, life was real. And uh, then I realized that my parents had really cautioned me a lot when it came to the stigma. And uh, because I had faced stigma as a child, but then I did not even know why I was being stigmatized. And there is nothing as bad as being stigmatized for something that you don't even know that you have. Because it, by the time it hits you that uh, this person, this relative of yours is putting away utensils and disinfecting them because you are HIV positive and you don't know anything about it it becomes a little bit you start feeling like you're lesser of a human being and that is actually how I started feeling when I finished my form 4 so when I finished uh, I the first thing the first challenge came with uh, my career choice because I wanted to be an air hostess. yes I used to be very slim and tall and I knew I got it all you know so yeah, <laughs> I went to the, to, to the first place where I did my interview for being an hostess, and the first thing that I was disqualified with was the mark on my face because it was caused by happy zoster and um, I went home feeling really down. So my second choice was being a journalist, a uh, radio presenter to be precise because I love radio so much. So yeah, so I went. Uh, talked to an uncle of mine who used to work in uh, one of the media stations and uh, the first thing he told me is you cannot be a media, uh, a media personality so I asked him why and he was like you're living with, uh, with HIV HIV is full of stigma and uh, people are going to know about you and they're going to feel to stigmatize you and you will feel like you're lesser of a person and so that actually made me think that People will never judge me differently. They will always define me according to my status. That is why I like using, I like uh, posting you saying HIV does not define me because at the end of the day, I'm still a human being. I'm just hosting a small virus. So when I, when I, when I, when I faced all of this, I felt like uh, I had to, I had to do something. I had to change my situation and then Sometimes the universe always hears us, so yeah, the universe had me, and then I saw Babu Aluliondo on TV, and uh, Babu Aluliondo was, uh, people were going there, there were vehicles, media was giving it too much attention, so I knew it was not a scam. So I convinced my mom, we went to, we went to Aluliondo, <laughs> we drank the cup, yes, I drank the cup. <laughs> ah, sometimes when I remember that story, I, I, I don't know how I, whether I feel unwise i can't call myself stupid i just think i was unwise so uh we drank the cup after we drank the cup we came back home and that is when i defaulted from my ARVs for two years and uh i got pneumonia later on uh but now the first time we in hiv there 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 i i'm going to talk about this more but uh, in hiv there is the there are tests that are done, the CD4 and the viral load test that are so important. So my first viral load after defaulting my medication was 200,000 copies. And the normal viral load is supposed to be below 500 copies. So mine was way, way, way over the beyond. So uh, basically it was bad. And now when the doctor asked me if I was taking my ARVs, I was like, yes. With a straight face, I told the doctor, I have been taking my ARVs. I do not know what is happening unless you guys tell me. So they said maybe the time was wrong. So they told me that I should work on my time. And I told them, okay. So the following year, I stopped going to hospital totally because I knew they would find out that I had stopped taking my medication and my viral load would shoot. And uh, that is actually the reason why I got pneumonia as an, uh, as a, as an infection because my viral load was so high. So... When I stopped going to hospital and uh, I was taken back again, I actually went back to taking my ARVs because 
I was in pain. The pain is what drove me to go back and just say, you know what, just give me those, medi those medications. I didn't want it. And that is why I told you uh, in my previous video that the rest of your life is a very long time. And sometimes you just need midterms and breaks. And with ARVs, there is no holiday, there is no midterm, there are no breaks. It's the rest of your life every day. So, and I felt like, when I defaulted, I felt like, I could not go on and that is what most doctors call tri treatment fatigue i'm going to talk about that later on but uh for now why don't you continue this next week continue liking sharing and subscribing thank you